Hello everyone, welcome back to the projection that I currently have. So those are the skill that not everybody will have there. Some people may have a certain type of persuasion skill, but certain people don't. That comes with a lot of training and practice to have marijuana once a day or trying to um, have a lot of alcohol, drink a lot of beer uh, once a day. So that is when the motivational interview comes into the place. There are different types of methods you can use to kind of persuade them, but most of the, the motivational interview will be much suitable for the AOD client. So when you engage with a client, you can use a scale from one to 10 to help a client to determine whether the outcome of quitting the smoking or quitting the uh, use of alcohol or quitting of the doing a lot of different kind of substance would be beneficial for them because then they need to see the benefit out of not using then they will be able to alter their behavior. So let's say you have a person coming to your clinic, a person come to your office saying that they smoke a lot, they drink a lot, they use a lot of substance, and how to change their behavior in, you know, that will become a very crucial um, information for either for you or for also very basic thing. You can kind of just tell them, you know, not, we, we, we don't have to say persuade, but uh, that was part of persuasion skill, kind of letting them know what is a harmful impact on, on their body when they continue to use um, a different type of substance, alcohol, abuse, or different type of injection. And then after that, you can ask them to these one to 10, how willing they, they will want to change. Um, they can list three, they can list four, they can list six, but at least they give you a number, give you an estimating figure that to tell you why they want to change and why they don't want to change. Remember, this is a slow process, okay? We're talking about gradually decrease their desire of doing something. Of, of, uh, in this case, is substance abuse, right? And also you can ask them to have their own pace. You know, this is something that um, I will tell my client, you know, just kind of slowly reduce your usage on a certain substance, um, slowly check and track how many, uh, how many uh, bottles of beer you drink a day and how to slowly reduce that habit. So I think this is going to be a very good method to help the client and patient to try to engage with your treatment. So that's it for today. And if you do have any question and comment, you can leave any comment uh, down to the link before, below. And uh, I will see you next time on our next uh, YouTube. Bye bye. Oh. I, I don't know what's going on. Sure. Cool, five, is that a Open the door.